Yahuchanan, John 5. After this, there was a feast of the Yahudim, and Yahusha went up to Yerushalayim. Now there is at Yerushalayim, by the sheep market, a pool, which is called in the Ivrit tongue, Be'et Chechad, rather Chesed, having five porches. In these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first, after the troubled, rather troubling of the water, stepped in, was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. And a certain man was there, which had an infirmity thirty and eight years. When Yahusha saw him lie, and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he said unto him, Will you be made whole? The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man, when the water is troubled, to put me into the pool, but while I am coming, another steps down before me. Yahusha said unto him, Rise, take up your bed, and walk. And immediately the man was made whole, and took up his bed and walked. And on the same day was the Shabbat. The Yahudim therefore said unto him that was cured, It is the Shabbat. It is not lawful for you to carry your bed. He answered them, he that made me whole, the same said unto me, Take up your bed and walk. Then asked they him, What man is that which said unto you, Take up your bed and walk? And he said, Rather, And he that was healed knew not who it was, for Yahusha had conveyed himself away, a multitude being in that place. Afterward, Yahusha finds him in the temple and says unto him, Behold, you are made whole. Sin no more, lest a worse thing come upon unto you. The man departed and told the Yahudim that it was Yahusha which had made him whole. And therefore did the Yahudim persecute Yahusha and sought to slay him because he had done these things on the Shabbat but Yahusha answered them, My father works hitherto, and I work. Therefore the Yahudim sought the more to kill him, because he not only had broken the Shabbat, but said also that Yahuwah was his father, making himself equal with Yahuwah. Then answered Yahusha and said unto them, Amen, Amen, I say unto you, the son can do nothing of himself, but what he sees hath the Father do. For what things soever he does, these also does the Son likewise. For the Father loves the Son, and shows him all things that he himself does. And he will show him greater works than these, that ye may marvel. For as the Father raises up the dead and quickens them, even so the Son quickens whom he will. For the Father judges no man, but has committed all judgment unto the Son, that all men should honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. He that honors not the Son, honors not the Father which has sent him. Amen, amen, I say unto you, he that hears my word, and believes on him that sent me, has everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation but is passed from death unto life. Amen, amen, I say unto you, the hour is coming and now is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of Elohim, and they that hear shall live. For as the Father has life in himself, so has he given to the Son to have life in himself and has given him authority to execute judgment also 
because he is the son of Adam. Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming in the which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice, and shall come forth, they that have done good unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not my own will, but the will of the Father which has sent me. If I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. There is another that bears witness of me, and I know that the witness which he witnesses of me is true. You sent unto Yahuchanan, and he bore witness unto the truth. But I receive not testimony from man. But these things I say, that ye might be saved. He was a burning and a shining light, and ye were willing for a season to rejoice in his light. But... I have greater witness than that of Yahuchanan, for the works which the Father has given me to finish, the same works that I do, bear witness of me that the Father has sent me. And the Father himself, which has sent me, has borne witness of me. Ye have neither heard his voice at any time, nor seen his shape. And ye have not his word abiding in you, for whom he has sent, him ye believe not. Search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. And ye will not come to me, that ye might have life. I receive not honor from men, but I know you that ye have not the love of Yahweh in you. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. How can ye believe which receive honor one of another, and seek not the honor that comes from Yahweh only? Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuses you, even Moshe, in whom you, ye trust. For had ye believed Moshe, ye would have believed me, for he wrote of me. But if ye believe not his writings, how shall ye believe my words? <laughs>